Imagine taking any picture you've seen and in just a few clicks generating something really strikingly similar or capturing its exact style. In this video, I will show you how to recreate existing images using Midjourney V7. Within Midjourney, image recreation has three distinct levels. First level is foundational level. Here, our aim is capturing fundamental essence of an image using descriptive keywords and language. In order to do that, first we will upload the image we want to recreate. For this job, you can use image icon here and click on choose a file or drop it here. Find the image you want to recreate. For example, for this task, I want to recreate this image and upload it to Meet Journey. Once it's uploaded, we will use describe function, which is very handy using information icon here. When you click on it, AI analyzes the image and generates a few different text prompts and keywords which describes and capture the key visual elements of this image. Then you can take these prompts by clicking on them and generate a new image. Here don't forget to use atomic prompting structure. Always start with fundamental art medium at the beginning of your prompt, cinematic photo of a female humanoid with blue eyes and my results is ready. And you will realize that this fundamental level of recreation is very descriptional. It's not quite exact. It stays more in the subject and general vibe level, but it doesn't produce an exact copy of an image. Now let's jump into level two, exact replication. If your goal is to produce a pixel perfect duplicate, exact replication is possible with a more direct approach. Instead of relying on only descriptive capabilities of mid journey, we will directly feed the image itself as an image prompt for visual reference. This is what's known as using an image prompt. For this job, we will drag and drop the image we want to replicate to the section here. As you can see now, this image is selected. We will still use the same descriptor prompt, so we are not removing it, but a parameter called image weight becomes critical. It's represented with dash dash IW, and it takes values ranging from 0.5 up to 3. Lower value means the text prompt holds more weight than the image reference, words matter more. Higher values, the highest three, strongly encourages mid-journey to prioritize the visual information it's getting from the image prompt itself. I hit enter and generation starts. And my results is ready. As you can see, we got much closer to the original image itself. Here's another example. I want to recreate this image. I'm going to upload it, build the descriptive language. I have a man with a skull-like face and glowing red eyes, holding his smoking cigarettes in its hand and wearing a long coat. And I have a neon sign that says Eternity Bar. And here we can maybe rely on mid-journey aesthetics this time and increase stylization around 300 and let's hit it. Just to show you the difference, I ran this prompt two times. First one with my personalized style, which looks like much more realistic, but I'm quite happy with the personalization being easily accessible via P icon here. It definitely shortens my prompts because instead of writing a lengthy style keywords, I can now just use P and this would most likely produce something which I will really enjoy. And in the second one, I dropped my personalized style and completely relied on mid-journey aesthetics. And you will realize that mid-journey aesthetics here looks much more illustrative and it looks super different than my personalized preference. Now let's proceed from mid-journey aesthetics again and I'm gonna use exact same prompt. Additionally, I will add an image prompt here again. So drag and drop here and I crank up again the value of image weight and I hit enter. And you will realize that we managed to get a very high resemblance to the original image. So next level is consistent style. Consistent style shifts our attention from direct copying to capturing an overarching artistic style or atmosphere. So specific artistic vibes will be visually echoed in an image independent from the subject. It's almost like setting up a visual blueprint or visual specification. So I'm going to choose this style as my visual blueprint or let's say visual specification. I'm gonna use this subject again. So I copy pasted the prompt, a detailed prompt, and I'm dropping photography here because it will create a clash with my selected visual reference style. And I don't need image prompt here, but what I need is I absolutely need a style reference. So I'm gonna drag and drop this image to a style reference section. Now the whole vibe changed in comparison to 
the original image I created with the same subject. And some people ask, for example, what happens if I use an image prompt and style reference together? In this case, your image prompt will be much more dominant, more so than style reference. There is another layer in consistent style, which is called mood board. Mood board is a carefully created visual references by providing AI with a created collection of AI images. To achieve this, you need to select Personalize tab and create mood board. And here you can use links, you can pull images from your own mid-journey gallery or upload from your computer. I recommend you don't use random images, keep it consistent and aim for around 20 images to give the AI enough visual data. And once you generate the mood board, all you need to do is clicking on Use Profile and this will provide you a specific code that you can use in your prompts, which will reference aesthetic style of this mood board directly. So I'm going to use same subject again. And this time I don't have any image prompts, but I'm relying completely on the mood board. I hit enter and you will realize that things start to get very interesting with this visual mood board style. We achieved two different aesthetics than our original image. Next thing for consistent style is universal style reference codes. As you can see it here, style ref codes are very popular on Twitter and many great users are sharing super interesting aesthetic styles that you can simply replicate. So this one shared by Pastor, so go check his profile, he's really cool. I thought this visual aesthetic would fit perfectly to my subject. Simply you can just copy paste this style reference code and you will get visual aesthetics similar to this. Here for example I applied it and you can see we got some almost Dune-like super interesting hybrid visual aesthetics. I'm still keeping my original subject, but now I'm getting much stronger visual style echo from Pastor's style reference code. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about future of storytelling, click here.